Alright, hello everyone. Sorry I'm a few minutes late. I was just making sure that I had everything set up and ready to go. So hopefully um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to jump on, put them in the comments, let me know, and I will try to answer them at the end of this training. Um, but I just kind of wanted to go over some of the basics for new consultants. It's a lot of the stuff that I go over with um, my new recruits. So those of you who are my new recruits and you have done the coaching call with me, um, then we've kind of gone over some of this stuff, but it's a good refresher just to remember all of it and all of that. So I'm going to go over some things. And like I said, at the end, we'll do a, like a Q&A type thing. Um, I have some like a little list to go through, some things to point out, stuff like that. Um, I would, I was going to show you some stuff on the team page, but my phone is sitting in my ring light, so I'm not going to take it out right now. Um, but on our team page, the first thing that I want to point out is it, well, it depends if you're on a, um, computer or a phone, it's a little bit different, but on our team page, we do have the units tab, which is really, really useful. You guys can go through and mark off different units. When you get done, there is one specifically for new consultants under the units tab. So I think it is called new consultants start here. I think under the units tab. Yeah. New consultants start here. It has 21 posts. You can go through and mark all of those things off. Some of them are really easy. They'll take you like two minutes. The other ones may be like 10, 15 minutes. Um, but they're really easy stuff just to kind of work through. And it's a lot of the stuff that's in your first things first checklist as well. So that's a really good thing to go through. It's unit three under the units tab. The other things that I want to point out again, I know I went over some of this last week, but the announcements tab is also a really, really good place to start. There is a new consultant checklist that I have on there that you can walk through. And then I also have the first things first document, um, which you do get, I think in workstation and in your kit. And I feel like this is crooked it's really bothering me, but my ring lights was crooked. <laughs> um, so there's a first thing for first things first checklist that you can also go through too. So make sure you check that out. Those three things, the units tab, new consultants start here the announcements tab for the new consultant checklist and the first things first checklist. Um, also there's obviously tons of stuff that you can scroll through on our, on our team page, photos, albums, um, files, past posts. You can use the search bar on the team page and you can search stuff to see if we've posted about it before as well. And I do want to remind everyone too, as a new consultant, your, um, chain of command is what we call it. The people you want to go to first. You always want to go to your workstation first when you have a question. Always, always, always go to your workstation first because you can go to your workstation and you can type in anything in that search bar. You can also come to the team page and search stuff in the search bar too. So also if you're a new sponsor, this is some good information as well for you to kind of direct your teammate in this direction when they ask questions. Like it's great that we have sponsors to go to and ask questions, but our first line of defense should always be going to the workstation or trying to find the answer on our own. I just think that when we find things ourselves, instead of going directly to someone for the answer, we remember it a lot more. We have a lot more retention of that subject. We know where to go, where to find it again. If we have that same question again, that kind of stuff. So, and usually you'll find more information than what you're even looking for. And you can just read a little bit more and you'll figure out more information. There's, you know, you guys, there's tons and tons and tons of stuff on workstation for you to do. There's tons of trainings. There are stuff about fragrances. If you want to learn how fragrances are made, all of that kind of stuff, it's all in workstation. And that is also another thing too, is that you should be learning, but I'm going to touch on that in a minute. So always go to your workstation first search the workstation that search bar in your workstation is going to be your best friend you can search anything and it will bring all that stuff up if you need help navigating it reach out to your sponsor and they can help you kind of tell you where things are at within workstation but it goes workstation and then your sponsor so then your sponsor will be your next line of defense after your sponsor you can come to the team page if you can't find it um so that might be my page, that might be your director's page, that might be your sponsor's page, whoever's page you feel comfortable going to. Um, on my page, a lot of the time, since posts have to be approved, if it's something that's just simple or quick, me or Stephanie, who's also an admin on the page, um, we'll get back to you with an answer instead of letting it post on the team page if it's just a super simple question that you might have. Um, but so, workstation, sponsor, team page, then director, and then, after that, it would be me. 
So superstar director is going to be your last resort, unless I am your sponsor, then that's a little bit different. But, um, if I am not your sponsor, or your director, if Paige or Wendy are your directors or someone else is listed, then go to them first, okay? So, team page, I went through that. Um, okay, just checklist. So some of the things that you want to do when you're starting out for a, as a new consultant, and again, if you guys are a new sponsor too, this is good information for you as well. So I have a little sheet that I walk through with all of my girls when they start guys, girls, whoever. And I usually try to get this done within 24 to 48 hours, this first initial phone call, because that first 15 days is so, so important in your business, just to kind of get it off the ground and get the ball rolling and get going in the right direction. So those of you who have not scheduled coaching calls with me, who I am your sponsor, please do that. <laughs> it's really important to get these done as soon as possible. But the things you want to figure out is what is your why? So your why is like why you joined Sensi. What is it going to do for you? And we'll go into this more later on. We can touch base on this later on. But um, your why, you want it to be a deep-rooted reason, not just, well, because it looked fun. Okay, well, why did it look fun? Well, I don't know. I just saw other people having fun. Okay, well, what were they doing that they were having fun? You really want to think deep into those reasons. And like, if it is for money, well, what's the money going to do for you? What is the money going to provide for you? You have to have that deep rooted reason to be successful in this business so that you always know what you're working towards. And then your second thing is that you just want to jot down your goals. Also, what are your goals in this business? Do you want to make an extra $50 a month? Do you want to make an extra $5,000 a month? Do you want to go all the way to the top of the company and hit superstar director? What are your goals? Have those short-term and long-term goals and write them down. Writing down your goals helps you out so much more than just having them in your head because if you can write them down, put them on paper, look at them every day, you'll always have that constant reminder of why you're doing this and what you're working for. Um, going along with that, with your why and your goals, a lot of people give up in this business way too quickly. You have to give it time. This is not an overnight business by any means. It does take time. It's, um, I know I tell a lot of people this, but it's like a, a flower. You have to plant the seed, water it and watch the flower grow. The flower is not going to pop up overnight. So you have to take the time to really nurture and you won't see some of the stuff that you're doing right now for maybe three months down the road, six months down the road, you'll finally see, oh, that person that I talked to, now they finally wanna buy. You guys, there's people that I've been friends with for eight, 10 years that literally just bought like two days ago for the very first time. So it, it does take time and you just have to think about that, that it's not overnight. And I know a lot of our people who are here from the um, join special last year can also talk on that too, which is awesome. Um, then the next thing you want to do is there is a new consultant orientation video that you can watch. I think it's like three or four minutes. You definitely want to take a look at that. I don't really know exactly what it says in it because I didn't have that when I joined. I don't remember having that. If I did, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> um, you also want to tour the workstation. And I always say the best way to kind of find your way around the workstation is just to play around in there and just check stuff out. If you don't mess around with all the tabs, see where everything's at. I mean, you guys, you can do everything in Workstation. There is um, your PRV, your team's PRV, your past orders, your contacts, um, your parties. You can send emails to all of your contacts. You can check out the events that Sensi has, the incentive tab, count, the consultant calendar, the consultant store where you can purchase marketing materials and things like that. So the best way to find your way around Workstation is just to get in there and start clicking on tabs and finding things. If you're really, really having a hard time finding something, reach out to your sponsor, say, I can't find this. They'll probably know where it's at and they can tell you. If they don't know, they'll ask their sponsor. So make sure you're just touring that. You know, you can put in fake orders and then just delete it before you get to the payment part. That always helps too. So you can figure out how to put orders into workstation parties. You can always delete parties later on if you don't need them, all of that kind of stuff. Um, you always want to connect with your sponsor. As I have pointed out, if you don't know your sponsor or if you guys aren't close or if you haven't talked to your sponsor, you definitely want to be in touch with your sponsor. And especially when you very first start out. So again, what I do is I try and touch base within 24 to 48 hours of someone joining the team. And then if that doesn't work out, hopefully we get to touch base within that first two weeks. It's really important that we do. Um, and I was going to say something else about that. Oh, um, you guys can put this in the comments. If you are in your first 70 days and you are getting the um, reminder text messages from me, 
Can you let me know if you like them or not? I, this is the first time I've ever trying it. I started it May 1st, so this was the very first time I've ever done this. It's an app that another superstar director told me about, and you set it all up ahead of time. You add someone in there every time they join, and then it automatically sends out these texts. You schedule them, it sends them out when you put in the app to send it so that it reminds you, you know, like, hey, you have two days left until shooting starts, your shooting star day, you are on your 50th day, like all this kind of stuff. So let me know if you are enjoying those, if you are getting them. Um, next, you wanna schedule your launch event. You want to do, okay, awesome, I'm glad you like them. It's weird because I know it comes from a different number in the app, so I wasn't sure, I was like, people are probably gonna be like, why does she have two phone numbers? But it like creates its own phone number, but you guys can respond to those text messages too. It just pops up in the app and I respond to it like a regular text. So next, schedule your launch event. This is super, super important to get your launch event scheduled as soon as possible, but especially within that first 15 days, even if you don't have your kit, you can start before you get your kit. You do not have to wait for your kit to come in the mail. You want to get that on the books. You want to get something scheduled because you guys, that first um, award that you can earn is that Shooting Star Award. And I know that several of my girls have earned that, which is freaking amazing. I'm so proud of them right now. They're doing so good. Um, so you want to earn that award just because one, it's an award. So why not get recognition? Two, you can, you're then halfway to your first promotion already and you're off to a really great start. And then three, you also have the opportunity to buy that shooting star kit for $200 and it's like $500 or something worth of product. It's crazy. There's a ton of stuff. And the shooting star kit counts as PRV and you do get paid on it too, which is really nice. So get your launch party scheduled as soon as possible. I know a lot of people have had questions on launch parties. If you need help with your launch party, ask your sponsor. Your sponsor should be able to, you know, join your event online and just kind of help you, um, help you walk through the steps of how to set it up, how you should do it, how you should run it, those kinds of things. So definitely touch base with your sponsor on setting up a launch party if you have not, but you definitely want to do that as soon as you possibly can. And obviously right now, um, more of what people are going to be doing is an online launch party because we don't really have the options of doing in-home parties right now. So that's totally fine. You guys, I do 90, 95% of my business online. So online works great. If you just set it up in your workstation, set up an event or a group on Facebook. I like doing groups because I think they're more personal than just an event on Facebook. And I think people get more of the notifications and they're more interactive on those. So set up a group on Facebook, invite your friends, family, coworkers, aunts, uncles, cousins, grandmas, you know, brothers, sisters, anyone to that event and it's just kind of like you're, hey, I'm here, I'm selling Scentsy, this is what it is, this is what we have. You guys, some people don't even know half the stuff we have. Like they don't know that we have cleaning stuff and laundry stuff and body stuff. They think that we, I'm like opposite. Um, they think that we just have the bars and warmers. They don't know. They don't know that we have diffusers and they don't know all of this stuff. So it's just kind of to share that, hey, I'm selling Scentsy, this is what I'm doing now. I really wanna make this work. Like. I'm excited about this. I want you to be excited too, kind of thing. That also goes along with the next one, which is announcing your business. So you definitely want to announce your business. I know I've seen a lot of you, um, you know, I like to post a welcome to my team members on Instagram or on Facebook. Um, I do it on my story and then a lot of those girls will reshare that, which is awesome. So that's a way to announce your business. Like, hey, I joined Sensi. This is my link. Here's my website, check it out. So you definitely want to announce it and that also can go along with your launch party and sending out text messages to people, letting them know, hey, I'm doing this launch event, here's my link, all of that kind of stuff. Um, when you do get your starter kit, I always encourage you to go live with your starter kit or post a video or a picture of you with your kit. Um, something is better than nothing. Going live is always going to get you more interaction than anything else, um, just because the way the algorithms work on social media. So going live is definitely always going to get you the most engagement on that. But I suggest that for multiple reasons. One, people just like seeing that you actually got this kit. They like seeing what's in the kit. And then also a lot of times it gets people interested in joining themselves. And you guys can start recruiting right away. You can recruit the minute you sign up if you want. Do not wait until you feel like you're ready. Otherwise, you're just gonna be waiting for forever because you will never feel like you're ready. I still feel like I'm fine tuning, you know, three and a half years later, I'm fine tuning what I do with my new recruits and all of that. You're never gonna be perfect. No one's ever gonna be perfect at recruiting. So start whenever people wanna join your team. If they wanna join, let them join. <laughs> and then, 
obviously submitting your first order. That would be the next thing. Getting paid, we are paid once a month on the 10th of the following month. So June 10th, we will be paid for all of May's sales. And July 10th, we will be paid for all of June's sales. We usually paid a couple days early, but it is supposed to be the 10th. You will get a Sensi pay card that doesn't cost you anything. Um, you can either get your commissions transferred to the pay card or into your bank account. You will get an email with how to set up your pay portal within like two weeks, I think. I've heard some people saying it's taking a little bit longer right now, but um, about two weeks you'll get an email from the pay portal people with how to set that up and everything. Um, setting up your SMART goals. Your SMART goals are in your workstation, I believe. Um, it should still be, I think uh, mine are on my account tab. Maybe, don't quote me on that. And then also setting up a follow-up system is always super, super important. And one of the very first things I always tell everyone to do, that Sell With Amy app, I always recommend to everyone because it is the best thing in the world. It does so much stuff. And you guys, follow-ups are so important. Right now, I would say 80% of my sales now at this point come from follow-ups and not new customers. So obviously you always want to be getting new customers, but I would say so much of my sales does come from customer retention and customer follow-ups and things like that. So that's super, super important. Um, the sell with Amy app, it will, um, go over like, you know, Hey, send this person a thank you because they just ordered. It syncs to your workstation, which is really nice. So anyone that orders goes into the app and it'll remind you to follow up with them to give them a thank you, um, to also check in with them two weeks after their order. And then two months after their order, you can set it up. So it's like the next day, a week later, you can set it up however you want. And it'll remind you during that timeline, like, Hey, it's been one day. Send this person a thank you. It also reminds you to check in with your team. You can also record samples in there. So it tells you like, hey, you sent a sample to this person, check in and see how they like their sample. Obviously you have to put the sample in there. It doesn't automatically do that for you, but it's awesome, you guys. It does so much stuff. We can do a whole another training just on um, Sell With Amy, the app. It is $8 a month for the paid version, but I highly recommend it. It's a business write-off. Um, I will answer that question at the end. And then, the next things you guys again like um like i mentioned before that shooting star award is the award that you can earn in your first 15 days if your sponsor has not gone over that with you they definitely should be and you can also be looking that up um also you guys i send welcome emails to everyone hopefully you guys all get those i don't know if they go spam or not but um you should get a welcome email from me that has our wax boss squad guide that's just kind of like a you know a page that does go over some of this stuff like top 10 tips for new consultants and your first things first checklist is included in there and um the hours that i'm usually working since these stuff like that so make sure you check that email it goes um over all the awards as well so the shooting star day is your 500 dollars in your first 15 days which is a really great goal sensational start is another award that you can earn and that is within your first 70 days and that can be a mixture of sales and recruiting or just sales um however you get there is fine then some of the other things, obviously we went over a launch party, you guys, that's so, so important. Um, creating your list of 100. I do have a lot of stuff on the team page as well for this that you can utilize with how to create your list of 100. There's different ways to do it. A lot of people say like, hey, just sit down and write down 100 names and that's great. But I always say keep it as more of a master list type thing. So anyone that ever talks to you about like, joining or hosting or buying or anything like that, you definitely want to put them down on this list so that you never feel like you're running out of people. That's the goal is that you never want to feel like you're running out of people to contact about Sensi, things like that. So, um, those are just really fun things to do. The list of 100 personalize your website. So make sure that you put a picture up of you and you don't use the generic Sensi picture that they put on there and that you also fill in your story on your website. Those are super important things. If you haven't done that and you've already gone through the whole process, obviously, cause you're here, um, you can do that on your account tab. You can edit that at any time too. And that's super important because a lot of times people will choose you as a consultant to purchase or host or join because of your story on your page. They relate to you. You know, um, Paige, who's on our team, she didn't know me and she said that she joined my team because I was the only one that had a story that she came across on my page and she liked it, so she joined. 
Um, so just making sure that you have your story written, that you're personal, because a lot of this business is about building relationships and you don't want to be just a regular Sensi page with just a name and no picture, no story. Nobody knows who you are. Nobody knows anything about you. People buy from people. That's why you can't just go to Sensi.com and purchase. You have to go through a consultant. So you want to make sure that you're being personal and that goes throughout this whole entire business too. Like make sure that you're always as personal as you can be like, Posting a picture of you with a warmer is gonna get a lot more attention than just posting the warmer. Posting a picture of you making samples is gonna be more attractive than just posting a picture of just the samples by itself. People relate to you. This business is all about relationships, so make sure you keep that in mind throughout this whole business as well. Um, okay, so we went through the checklist. Um, YouTube is going to be a great resource. You guys, I have a YouTube channel and there are tons of other superstar directors, star directors, directors that have YouTube channels. I always recommend this for, you know, when you have some spare time or I listen to stuff all day while I'm working and I know that's not what everyone can do, but like if you're driving in the car, just turn on a video. You don't have to watch it. Obviously just listen to it or listen to a podcast or you know, when you're getting ready or taking a bath at night or something, I don't know, or cooking dinner, pop on a video and learn. You will always want to be learning in this business because you will never know everything. I promise you that. You're not expected to ever know anything, but you always wanna be working on yourself and learning and developing and soaking in as much information as you possibly can. So I highly recommend using YouTube um, for training, stuff like that, after you've gone through all of these other things that I just went through on the checklist and the first things first checklist and all of that. When you have time to just you know hang out, put on a YouTube training, put on a podcast. Personal development, I think, is something that's really, really important in this business too, and I will preach that for forever. You have to be developing and working on yourself. So learning, growing, training, listen to podcasts, read books that are gonna make you better at network marketing, read books about selling, like whatever that might be for you, there are tons of things, you guys. If you need a list, trust me, I got a list of podcasts, YouTubes, books, all that kind of stuff. If you need any of that, I have a huge list. So, <laughs> um, audio books, all of that kind of stuff. All those things are super, super important for you to always just make sure that you're working on yourself because it is going to help you out with this business as well. Um, yeah, the Cinderella warmer. I love it. <laughs> um, so da, da, da. Okay, I asked about the 70 days text. We went over YouTube. Da, da, da. And again, if you guys have questions, put them in the comments so I can try and answer them at the end. Hopefully, I catch them all. Um, so, the other thing that I wanted to go over really quick before I do step into some of the questions that I had received via email or on the post earlier um, a lot of you that have just started that are within your first week or two or even your first couple months, I'm hearing well, it's not going that well. Well, I don't know. I feel like it's just okay. Uh, well, I don't know. Mm. And I'm like, well, where are these standards coming from? Like you guys are setting some of these standards in your own heads. There's no standards for what you need to do. You guys, I didn't hit certified for three months. It took me three months to sell a thousand dollars. So don't think that you're not doing well in this business and that you won't make it if you don't do this or don't hit this award or don't sell this amount within this amount of time. You can still do it. Everybody's journey with Sensi is gonna be different. And just because you aren't selling as much as so-and-so sold in their first seven days or you're not where this person is within their first 30 days, that does not matter. Do not compare yourself to others in this business because your journey is gonna to be totally different than someone else's. So make sure that you're not setting random standards for yourself that you know aren't really true standards um, because most of you that are saying that are doing really well. <laughs> so I don't know what you guys are talking about. You're crazy if you think you're not doing well because the majority of you are doing very well. But I will say with that too, that it's not just going to come to you. A lot of people join this business and think, oh, well, the product sells itself. Oh, well, people will just buy. Or if I just post this flyer or this picture, people will buy. No, you have to work for it. You have to reach out. You have to constantly be talking to new people. And 
it is going to take time, just like I said earlier. So just some things about that. I do like to do a lot of videos and talk about those kinds of things as well. But since tonight, this is a new consultant training, we will stick to the majority of that stuff. Um, yes, I will jot down that you guys want that list. So I don't forget. And Okay, um, someone asked, where are we allowed to post our links at? You can post your links wherever you please. You can post them anywhere, everywhere, all over the place, on your car, on your window. Put it wherever you want, wherever you want. Facebook, Instagram, text message, post it everywhere. You can put your link anywhere. There are no restrictions on that. Um, what is Sensi Club? So Sensi Club is um, a monthly subscription so you know how people sign up for like fab fit fun or bark box or even like blue apron hello fresh meal boxes like that so essentially it's kind of like that um it is a monthly subscription but you add what you want to that subscription so like i have one set up where i only get it once every three months you can do it every month every other month or every three months and I have one set up with like the laundry love bundle, some discontinued bars, which is really nice because like, so this summer collection, if you guys didn't get bars, you can still add that to a Sensi Club subscription and get that bar. So it's just a thing where, you know, a lot of people will add like fall and winter scents to their Sensi Club so they can get their fall and winter scents year round because they don't like summer scents. They don't like fruity scents. Um, so things like that, and those are really good for your customers to get onto too, just because then it is like guaranteed PRV that you're going to have every month if they're signed up for that Sensi Club subscription. You can also sign up for one yourself. There's, It's not limited to just your customers. You can sign up as well, but you do have to sign up for it on your website, not workstation. Um, but that's an, always an option. Shipping usually ends up being a little cheaper, and I think if it's over $60, shipping is free, which is really nice. So um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> I haven't looked at that for a while, but, um, so it just makes it a nice deal. You know, that it's a little bit cheaper. Maybe it's over 75. I'll look and I'll find out. But, um, that is Sensi Club. If you have questions about that, let me know. Um, what it means when it says in your workstation, I think this is when setting up a party, it says, remember, you cannot use host credit for enrollment to flip a party. All that means is that you cannot be the host of a party and then flip that party into a host kit. Um, someone else has to be hosting the party to flip that party for the host consulting kit. So like you can, you have the option to flip parties. I know this probably sounds crazy for those of you who haven't seen this yet. Um, but you have the option to flip a party and give that party to a new consultant. So you can say, hey, here's this party. You can get this host kit at a cheaper price, and then you can also get the orders from this party as well. So it's just saying that you can't be the host and also get the host kit because obviously you're a consultant already. So it has to be someone else that's not a consultant being the host of that party. Um, would you go live on your personal page or business page? Both. I used to go live on my business page and then share it to my personal page just because I wasn't quite comfortable going live on my personal page but you can do it either way. Um, but if you do it from your business page and then share it to your personal, you'll probably draw more attention to your business page, which ideally I think in the long run is what you would like. Um, business pages on Facebook are searchable by Google, which is really nice. Um, that's a good way to kind of draw people in that are not your friends and things like that. So business pages on Facebook are really good to have. And then da, da, da. The only other question that I have written down, unless you guys have other questions, um, was how, not how to sell when you can't go outside or we're on quarantine or on lockdown. So I do have a video on this that I shared earlier. I will also share this link um, when I share the podcast and everything on kind of how to sell during coronavirus and just different ways to kind of market it. But as far as not being able to go out, you guys, again, so much of my business is just online. So you can totally do this business online. Like it's absolutely doable. Obviously it's helpful to be able to do vendor events and in-home parties and things like that, but it is possible to do it online. So 
just do it all online. Have all of your parties online, post online, talk to people over text, phone calls, messages, emails, all of that kind of stuff. That would be my advice as far as not being able to go out and like personally hand out samples, stuff like that. You can always mail samples, um, different things like that. So I think though that that was all that I had on my list. So let me just check and make sure if you guys had any other questions. Do you have any other questions? Yes, no, maybe. Oh, sorry. Um, if you guys do have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, ask me. Again, um, there's a ton of stuff in Workstation to use. I can't stress that enough. Going through all of those resources, going through the resources on our team page. If you're a new sponsor, there's also a new sponsor checklist in Workstation and there's some new sponsor training videos that you can also look up to just kind of learn how to train your team and the things to go over. But again, those first 15 days, I would say that are the most important time in your business just because it is the time where you're kind of like, hey, here I am, I'm selling, what's up? And hit that first award, because it is super exciting. Um, I don't know, I don't have one up, but when you are a sponsor and you have someone that hits Shooting Star, you get a nice little, award I can't point when this is flipped the camera slipped but over here you get awards that say shooting star trainer and then you get a little charm for your little charm bracelet which is fun too if you are the sponsor of someone that hits shooting star so it's really good if you are a sponsor to really help your recruits to hit those awards also and then sensational start is the one where you get the product credit again you guys can always host your own parties and get product credit stuff like that so that's always nice a nice perk of being a consultant is you can host a, your a party for yourself 12 times a month if you really want um there's really no limit on that so i think to answer everything any other questions should I have a business Facebook page too? I recommend it. Um, Instagram, I don't think it really matters. I have a separate business Instagram and personal page because on my personal page, I don't like to share pictures of just products and stuff like that. Um, so I have a business Instagram to post spam, as I call it, Sensi. Um, but I also have my personal Instagram set up as a business account as well. Um, I just think on Instagram, it does better on my stories when I post products on my stories versus on my personal page. You guys are more than welcome to go find my YouTube, my Instagram pages, um, follow those if you want to use the stuff. I know a lot of you like screenshot and use my stories and that is perfectly, totally, 100% okay. I encourage it. If you see something that you like, um, that I post on my story or something, obviously it has, if it has my website or something, you might want to take that off or if it has my logo, um, I usually ask you guys just not to crop out my logo since I usually take those pictures myself if it has my logo on it. But otherwise, feel free to follow those pages. Um, like I said, my business page, I just spam Sensi basically and on my personal page, it's a little bit more targeted and a little bit more directed towards my target audience. So um, da, da, da. let's see the questions. I hosted a party before I became a consultant. That party could have been flipped. Yes, it could have um, if it was qualified. I don't know if the party was qualified or not, but if you host a $200 party or more, um, you do have the option to get a $59 host kit. So if you joined with the $20 special, um, that was obviously cheaper than the $59 host kit. So I don't know how you did that, but um, does Sensi have to be included? Well, it doesn't have to be included. Um, like if you have a business name, you can use your business name on your groups and on your pages. But if you use the word Sensi on your page or on your group, you have to use the words independent consultant. You can't just put Morgan's Sensi page. You have to put Morgan independent Sensi consultants page. Um, so that's the only restriction is if you use the actual word Sensi, you have to include independent consultant in there as well. Um, but it doesn't, Sensi does not have to be included. You can just like, I think my customer group is just Wax Boss Morgan customer VIPs. So you don't have to have Sensi in there. Um, I have Sensi on my business page, but you don't have to do that. So 
Are there any other questions? Any last minute questions? Anything like that? Um, also with the party flipping, I should have um, clarified too that orders can only be flipped to the new consultant if they are being placed in workstation. If they were placed online, um, those orders cannot be flipped since they've already gone to that consultant. There was an exception like maybe two weeks ago. I don't know if that's still going, but um, yeah. So they can only be flipped if they are within workstation and not already placed within the party. And then the other thing I was gonna say too is as of right now, there are no cancellations until further notice because of coronavirus. So for another month, we will not have any cancellations. Um, so if you're on the will cancel list this month, you will not cancel out at the end of the month or until further notice. I guess they could technically change it next week, but I don't think they would do that. So anyways. Any other questions, anything else? Again, remember most important things, getting your launch party scheduled, connecting with your sponsor, unboxing your starter kit and announcing your business, um, setting up some sort of follow-up thing, your list of 100, personalizing your website with your picture and your story. Um, oh, the other thing, scent and warmer of the month. Um, is something that you have the option to get as a consultant that customers don't have the option of getting. And what that is, is a subscription that will come out every month. You can upgrade, downgrade, cancel, re-sign up anytime that you want, um, but it does process on the 15th. So like this Friday, Scent and Warmer of the Month will run for June. So we get access to the next month's Scent and Warmer early. So we will get shipped those products before the month starts so that we can see that stuff, we can smell it, we can take pictures, we can send samples to people, stuff like that. Um, if that is something that's within your budget, I would definitely suggest at least scent of the month because with scent of the month, you get a ton of bars, it's like nine or 10 bars, um, a room spray, a fragrance tester, fragrance stickers, month, 50 monthly brochures, and you get to have, I'll even, I think I have some of it. Um, da, 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 maybe I don't. Just kidding. I don't because my last one didn't ship. <laughs> um, but you get, like I said, the fragrance stickers, um, the bars, room spray, tester, brochures. I think I named it all. And that usually ends up being like 42, 43 with shipping and tax. But it's well worth it because what I do is I like to use two or three bars out of that. You guys, I swear that was my foot. Um, two or three bars out of that to make samples for my customers to send them out to all of my customers um, before the month begins. And then I'll use one bar for myself to put it in my warmer because sometimes the bars smell a little bit differently when you warm them versus when they are in the container. So I will... Um, warm one of the bars so that I know how to explain it to my customers if they ask so that you know I have more knowledge about it you know the more knowledge that you have about the products the better I feel so I warm one just to kind of see how it smells and then the rest of them obviously end up back here just for me to use or um, you know for me to sell on hand if someone does want something on hand um, or for vendor events, typically in a normal summer, I would be doing a lot of vendor events, but obviously all of those have gotten canceled. So now it does have a ton of stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's what I use it for. And then obviously the warmer of the month is a little bit pricier because it does include the warmer for the next month. Um, so I don't always do the warmer just because I don't have room in my house. If I had like, you know, an extra storage room or a big garage or something, I would, but I'm just in an apartment. So I don't always have the space for the warmers. Um, so I only do warmer of the month if it's a warmer that I know that I want for myself. Um, if it's a warmer that I know one of my customers will want or that I can sell. And then also if it is a warmer that I'm just like, okay, that warmer is crazy. I have to see this in person. I want to know what it looks like. I don't know, you know, how this warmer works. It's something different than what we've ever had. Then I'll also get the warmer so that I can do a video and show my customers how it works because it's crazy cool or something like that. Um, in order for you to buy stuff on your, um, for yourself, you can buy it from workstation or on your website either way. Um, if you put it in through your workstation, if you're ordering over $200 worth, you can put it in a party 
or you can put it in as an individual order, or you can order from your website and order from a party link too, so that you can just rack up those host rewards all month. So you can put orders in however you want. However, scent and warmer of the month can only be done from your workstation. So those can only be placed in your account tab. And anything else? I don't want you guys to be on here too long and I am gonna try and upload this to YouTube. So um, if you guys do have any other questions though, please don't hesitate to reach out, comment, let me know, um, shoot me an email, make sure you're connected with your sponsor, make sure you always check your workstation and go to the search bar because it is gonna be your best friend. And get those launch parties scheduled if you haven't, you're still in your first 15 days. Even if you already passed your first 15 days and you haven't done a launch party, get that launch party scheduled, okay? So let's keep rocking, rolling. Um, I think that you guys, my goal was for us to hit 400 group members this month and we are on our way there. Um, I think that we are, we've welcomed like 65 something new team members, which is awesome this month. We're at 326. So my goal is for us to hit 400. That would be awesome that 400 lives we've blessed with Sensi. So that's all I've got. I hope you all have a great night and happy Tuesday. Bye.